What's up, Tubes? This is Flathead Politics. I found some video footage from a ISS live stream from 2013, and I sped it up and took a look at it, and I found some things that looked kind of odd to me. So what I did was I took this 15-minute clip video and sped it up 350 percent. And I noticed that some of the things in the video, some parts of the ISS, never lost their relation to the horizon of the Earth. So what I did is I took, uh, I drew two circles around two parts of these antennas on the back of the ISS. And you'll notice that throughout the course of the 15 minute video, which is now about four minutes, the distance from these objects to the horizon never changes. And also there's a part where the one of the astronaut bumps into the camera. Everything moves all around for a couple seconds. And that distance never changes between those two objects and the horizon of the Earth. So yeah, anyway, uh, take a look and let me know what you think below and thanks for watching. So that yellow arrow is representative of the, the lens of the camera. So here we move to a uh, different part of the ISS. And a few minutes we'll go back to, or a couple minutes we'll head back to where we were initially. And as you'll see the distance between those two objects and the horizon still intact. You can also, by the way, there's a website called VideoHive, H-I-V-E dot com. You can go in and buy video motion graphics of that same Earth rotating just like it is in this video here. You can also purchase the space shuttle, the ISS, and take that and add that into a video and create something pretty darn close to what you're seeing on the screen right now. How long has this been going? Okay, so now we're back, and that distance that we looked at before is still intact. So yeah, this is looking more and more like this is some uh, clever CGI. Yeah, I think uh, a uh, proficient designer using uh, some of the, uh, the Adobe Suite products, After Effects, could create something that looks uh, just like this. So there you have it.